Chicken, why we have to have the same argument every time? Because I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook. Because I don't want to cook. I already got clean hands, y'all. I wash my hands probably a hundred times a day. But, um, what? Y'all like my hair? <laughs> it's going to be hard to remove that water. Thank you, Harry. Okay, so 
get the Ziploc bag. You want to get the chicken. And you want to put it in the bag. You throw it in the bag. You don't know how much it costs, but you know that bitch is bad. What you doing? That's garbage. Don't put it in here with my stuff. You finna take them out. All right, bag it, zip it. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Uh, these are big, these are big breasts. D cups. Oh, these are some big jumbos. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big tea right there. Hello. Oh Lord. I know this just gotta kill to have these. What the fuck you trying to say? Who is you talking about? Okay. You need to get about your feelings. If, if I can't make a statement and you get deep in yours. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Okay. What am I trying to say then? Okay. Other than put the titty. You want to put the titty in a ziplock and close it. Titty ziplocks close. That's a heavy titty. Where did I get these titties from? Walmart. You can get anything. Dr. Walmart. Miami. <laughs> Dr. Miami. So now that the um, chicken is clean, this always end up being like a cooking with Lily and Graham just be here, right? You a lie. You a lie. Ain't nothing else to do, you just told me. So why are you gonna bash me when I turn my back? <laughs> so we finna season this chicken a little bit. Rocket play a soccer in there with the tennis ball. I've been using some regular seasoning salt. A little bit of lemon pepper, and I thought I was gonna use some onion powder or garlic. I guess I'll shred it when it's cooked. Yeah. And I'm not gonna over season it either because the chicken broth is gonna do that. And chicken makes its own broth, so you you really don't have to buy no chicken broth. You can wait till you get done boiling your chicken and use that chicken broth for the rest of the steps. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I got my pot over here, and I'm gonna take these two chicken breasts and I'm gonna drop them in. It would have been nice if you would have been able to have these marinating all day. I'm gonna add some chicken broth. Hey guys. Okay, now it's been 
25 minutes. The chicken's done boiling. Next step you want to do is you want to drain the chicken. After you drain the chicken, you're going to lay the chicken down on something flat and you're going to chop it up, shred it into pieces so you can put it inside of the pot pie. Some people like to use this chicken broth for other things and you can, but we just going to pour it out. Anyway, what? Alright, I got this strainer. It's already clean. You want to pour the chicken in there. You want to dump it. You want to back it up and dump it. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands again because I have a huge problem of digging in my ass. And I don't want everybody to catch a fungi in the mouth. So I'm just gonna wash my hands every chance I get. Cause I don't know what I did prior to touching the chicken. All right? You wanna shake that chicken, you wanna rub that chicken, you wanna shake that chicken, you wanna rub that chicken. Then you're gonna put it right in here. All right? And you just gonna chop and go. You wanna place your hand on top of the knife so you don't cut yourself. Lily tends to put her hand right there and just chop away. It's been plenty of times she'll cut her finger, but I'm not taking that route because I know it's always key to have safety first. All right, so chopping, 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 chop. You want me to make it real thin, Lily? Mm, I don't want to eat that chicken. Okay, so we're going to chop it. Chop it, chop it, chop it. The chicken chopper. So while she's chopping chicken, I'm going to take this pan right here and I'm going to add, y'all know I don't measure shit. So I got to cut, I mean, <laughs> that's that wine kicking in. I got a, a can, the family size can of the cream of chicken, some vegetables, and I'm going to add, some people do this, some people don't, but I'm going to add probably like a teaspoon of butter to my pan before I put this stuff in here, just to give it some more flavor. my hand on the eye. Put my eye on like between six and seven. And then I got this bag of um, mixed vegetables and it just got carrot, corn, green beans, and peas inside of it. Yeah, like half of the bag, y'all. So I got the butter, the cream of chicken, half a bag of vegetables. I feel like I'm missing something. The biscuit? Oh, yeah. You want the buttery biscuits or the original? The butter. Okay. We're going to preheat the oven. Shit. What these biscuits bake on? 325.
All right, so you got this boiling, and I'm going to grab my little glass pan right here because while my biscuit is baking, you can do this one of two ways. You can add a pie crust or a cobbler. You can pour that in here put a pie crust or cobbler crust on top of it, bake it for about 20 minutes, and then you'll be able to cut into it. You can put one on the bottom and one on the top. Or, But we're gonna do it with the biscuit, so the biscuit's gonna cook on the side, and basically we're just gonna stick the biscuit on top of the filling, the stuff. Or you're gonna pour it. Open this. You got me toe up. I don't play with firecrackers. Alright, so now baby finna open the biscuits. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It's gonna pop on me. What's that gonna do? Huh?
can help you if you only let me touch it from wrong love tell me cause i get caught up in the life i live in hell see i never thought i'd see the day when i would calm down you ain't heard i've been known to clown and get around look at me i'm a big girl now said i'm gonna do something